It's just, it's not going to be, so like, if it depends on drive mode not available. Oh no, it's doing the Ford thing. Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here and wasn't expecting to make this video. So I just made a few offered videos with my wife and then I just did an offer video by myself uh, with the Bronco Raptor and everything was going really well until I started to do some rock crawling. Now, the rock crawling that I did was not extreme whatsoever. You guys will see the off-road video. I'm not sure if I'll post that first or this one first, but regardless, either look it up and if it's not there, just wait for it to be posted at a future date. But to tell you like the kind of crawling that I did with the Bronco Raptor, it was basically like a I mean, you need some quote ground clearance, but difficulty, I wouldn't even call it a 5 out of 10, like not even maybe like a three or four out of ten in terms of the difficulty so nowhere near the limits of the bronco raptor and it took a poop on me <laughs> it, i don't know what else to say so here let me show you um i'm in four wheel high right now it happened when i was in rock crawl mode doing some rock crawling uh so i was in four wheel low and everything and basically just out of nowhere i was rolling forward at like four or five miles an hour it just popped on a service light. Um, I'll try to include the clip from the other video so you guys can see that whole situation. But now, drive mode select does not work. And the exhaust also does not work. So like I'm pressing it and it won't let me change the exhaust. And the transmission's acting all wonky now. Um, I'll put the GoPro on so I can show you guys how it drives, but it looks like the Bronco's in limp mode, which yeah, I don't know what's happening. It did let me change the steering and the suspension, so I did put the suspension to... Oh, put it back to normal. I had it in off-road mode. Weird. I don't know why it switched it back to normal. Maybe it's because I tried to change the drive mode. But at least it'll let me change the suspension and everything, so... I'll pop on the GoPro, we'll drive down this dirt road, and... I mean, it's still driving, and I... And also, I need to mention, like... Here, I'll, I'll just pop outside so you guys can see this. So I needed to get off of the trail so that I wasn't in anyone's way, but I checked underneath and nothing's... Again, I did not impact a single thing off-road. Everything looks intact in front, and then there... I mean, there's not a lot to go over in terms of the middle. There's no leaks or anything. So I think it's purely an electrical thing with the Bronco. You can see in the rear, again, no impacts on anything. It's not like I hit the diff or something and uh, then something happened. It, Again, I was I was in stuff that the Bronco Raptor has more than enough clearance to handle, so didn't hit anything, no leaks. But for some reason, you'll see when I you'll, you'll see it happens. Still lets me shift into gear and everything, uh, just leaving it in automatic. So four wheel high, because we're I mean we don't really need four wheel drive for this, but four wheel high, and notice it's already in second. So that's the first thing I notice is the transmission is just now I'm not getting into the throttle all that much, but the transmission is just shifting, shifting, shifting. And when I get on it, it just stops me. Like, I don't want to break it, so I'm not trying to, but I'm trying to show you guys the, like that's that's full throttle. So you can see it's something with, I don't know if it's the computer can't communicate with the transmission. Look at that. I should not be, like look how many times it's changing gears. That should not be happening. So I don't know, again, if something's, wacky with a computer i'm also kind of like concerned if it is an electrical issue like if i turn it off is it gonna just fix itself or am i gonna be stranded that's the other that's the other question and when i say stranded like is it gonna start back up and is the car gonna drive or if i turn it off is the whole system just going to go kaput and if you guys aren't familiar with my bronco raptor this is the one that had the battery die like 800 miles so this isn't the first time I've had something that, again, seems to be electrical. Yeah, why is it shifting? Why is it in seventh gear? And the transmission's making like a, kind of like a harder clunk sound every so often with the gear shifts. But yeah, if I try to... F That's weird. Now it's working. It's still doing the weird shift. So now I have power. No, there you go. It just did the exhaust, like, cut power. I, I am so confused. Uh, 
again, if something, I don't think it's mechanical. If something mechanical broke, you know, underneath I'd be able to see something, you'd think. I really do think it's some, the computer got, I don't know. Oh yeah, there's no power again. Yeah, it's in this weird, weird limp mode. Okay, I wonder, I'm gonna slow down here. I wonder if I put it in two wheel drive. Cause I don't really need four wheel drive for this road. I wonder if that will fix my issues. So if, the Raptors do have an on the fly system. So you can be, you just can't have your foot on the accelerator. Yeah, it's, it's still doing the weird shifting. I wonder if something happened to the transmission and now the computer's trying to work around it. So maybe it is something mechanical. But again, why is there no, f why is there no fluid? Why is there nothing? Huh. I mean, the good thing is I'm not stranded, right? I will, I will give Ford credit for that. I have never been left stranded by, I've, I've owned a lot of Fords, I've never been left stranded. And well, even though this thing's acting up, this is still an, I, like, it's drivable enough that I can get back home safely. So. Yeah, this is so strange. Yeah, it's like no power and then it comes on and then it... Hmm. I'm just going to kind of coast for a bit because, again, I don't want to break anything. And then once I get far enough down here where I'm close to the main road, where I wouldn't have to pay $2 million for a tow truck, uh, then I'll shut it off and turn it back on and see if that fixes. Well, I've made the executive decision to drive until I get to Santa Quinn. That is the closest town with a Ford dealership because I just have a gut feeling that if I turn it off, it's not going to start back up. And I really don't want to have to pay for a... Well, actually, I guess I have Ford's... I guess this probably has the Ford thing where I get a free tow truck. But regardless, I don't want to wait for a tow truck to get to where I'm at because, I mean, it's, it's pretty far out there. Now, it is driving relatively normal. I don't think it's a transmission. So the transmission is shifting gears like normal. I think that it blew a turbo because it gets to 3,500 RPMs. There's like a lot of weird back pressure. The exhaust makes some popples and everything. And then it just loses power. So I, I, I think I lost my turbo. Well, I have myself neatly parked into a, well here, the camera will show you. Ah, wrong button. Neatly parked into a parking space here at the Ford dealer. So shut her off. close the door. I don't know. I'm just seeing if turning it on and off does anything. It's a good thing I did this because that did not turn on. Okay, now it did. So no warning lights so far. Interesting. Very interesting. Well, I've got some good news for me and some bad news for all of you. It is acting completely normal. So there's no one behind me, so I'm gonna slow down here a bit. So you guys can see that it accelerates and shifts and all of that completely normally. Okay, that 15 miles should be enough. Look at that. Doing normal. It's driving completely normal now. It's driving completely normal. I don't understand. Um, again, vision's always 20, 20 in hindsight. I should've just turned the Bronco off and back on. But being out in the desert where it would have either been extreme, well, I think, again, I think Ford covers it for the first couple of years or something like that, but at least extremely time consuming, if not potentially also expensive. I don't know. I, I kind of think I did the right thing, but I mean, had I known that turning it on or sorry, turning it off and back on would have fixed the problem and it would have for sure turned on, I would have just done it. I just, I don't know. I, I just didn't know. But at the same time, why was the computer doing that? Like what? I, I'm confused as to what happened. The only thing that I can that I can guess is, again, it wouldn't let me change the drive mode. It wouldn't let me change the exhaust setup. So I think that it closed the valves on the exhaust, and I don't think it ever took the Bronco out of rock crawl mode. That's my guess. Now it obviously was out of four because again, I 
locking diffs were open. <laughs> Stabilizer bar was reconnected. It was in two wheel high. So I think that like the mechanical stuff itself was in two wheel drive, you know, not, not rock crawl mode, right? Street mode. But the electronics, the computer, I think the computer thought it was still in four wheel drive, was in rock crawl mode. That's why I had the weird back pressure. That's why the weird shifting. I think that's what happened. So there's a big miscommunication between what was happening mechanically in the computer. But again, I don't know what happened in the first place. I was driving at like five miles an hour in four wheel low down that trail, nothing crazy. So I don't know. Ford, it is what it is. I'll see you.